Steve, it's good to uh, good to have you here. And uh, you, you've you've been very very busy. You've had a lot of news the last little while, and I just want to br- briefly touch on uh, on on some of them. Let's let's start with your spectacular uh, quarter uh, results. Uh, you you showed record uh, record revenues again. That's correct. Uh, it's our third consecutive quarter of revenue growth, and we foresee that uh, uh, projecting out for the next uh, 12 to, to 16 quarters. So that's quite some some runway ahead of us. But we did record uh, record revenues of 6.1 million in Q3, which ended July 31st. That was up 27% over Q2. Our gross margins were 34% higher in Q2. And as importantly, our adjusted EBITDA loss was about a million dollars less than Q2. So revenues margins are going up, our loss is going down, and uh, those are trends that uh, we expect to see continue over the quarters to come. Great, and uh, you also, you know, the other question everyone always asks, uh, you have $27 million in the bank. That's correct. That, uh, so we closed the financing just before quarter end of 30 million US, uh, which was used to fund the acquisition of uh, three additional products, which are accretive immediately to us. Uh, the three products had the existing revenues of $27 million, and we expect that to grow. So our total revenue base basically doubled on the day that we uh, we made that acquisition. And uh, that funding uh, should allow us to get to break even and beyond. Um, save for any other acquisitions that uh, we uh, might make. And we have an additional 10 million US line, which could be used uh, to service those acquisitions. Okay, and, and so you're, you're a biomed com- uh, company. Let's talk a little, little bit about your, your product line because you've just added to your product line as well. So your base product line, um, how, how many products now do you have that, on offer? So we currently sell 12 products. Uh, and six of which are actively marketed by uh, the company. And uh, the, it's split within three different uh, business units. Respiratory, uh, where we have three products, two in asthma and one in allergy. The ophthalmic unit, which is relatively new, it came as a result of this acquisition, where we have a product for dry eye and for glaucoma or high blood pressure in the eye. And the third uh, unit actually has more products. Uh, It's more of our hospital slash specialty uh, division, uh, which is being led by a product called Redesca, which is uh, currently, I believe, our number two selling product and uh, with uh, upside. So diversified portfolio. Each business unit has its own man- its own business unit head, its own commercial team. So the sales reps are dedicated to those products. These reps are all our own employees. Um, and uh, once we complete the ophthalmic business unit by uh, the end of October, we'll have about 125 employees. So, and you just you just recently added two uh, two new products to your product line. Um, yep. t- t- tell us a little bit about those. We added uh, actually three new products. We acquired uh, from uh, licenses from Novartis for two ophthalmic products uh, at the end of July. So they, they did not uh, impact our July revenue numbers, but start as of uh, October 1st. These currently, these two products in our ophthalmic unit is actually our number one revenue driving division right now. Uh, one is for dry eye, one is for glaucoma. Uh, and as I mentioned, they, they historically did 23 million uh, in the prior 12 months. And we expect we expect those to be able to build that over the course of the next four years to probably double that number. So 40 to 45 million. The other product that uh, fits well with our respiratory unit that we also acquired on July 29th is a allergy drug used for severe allergic reactions it's called Allergec. It currently does $4 million of revenue in Canada. We expect to be able to grow that. It has only one com- other competitor in a $90 million market. Uh, this product has clear advantages in terms of its ease of use. It actually, it's an auto injector. The, the device actually speaks to you. And I'll, uh, I'll give you a, a, just an example of this is the, the size of the device, easily carryable. Um, uh, for those people that are needle phobic, you don't see the needle. Uh, and it's used in, re- in, in situations where you have a, an intense allergic reaction. So very uh, three new products, current uh, additional revenues, 27 million. Uh, but we expect to, to be able to build these three products to revenues in the high 60s to low 70s over the course of the next few years. So uh, significant revenue uh, jump for us uh, in the, immediately and also in the longer term. That's great, and, and so and these are all products. Obviously, then they're they're uh, they're Health Canada approved. They're out there. They're they're, they're actually being being used by by people able uh, available for prescription and, and use in hospitals. 
That's right. I mean, if, if you look at our Zydra product, which is a prescription dry eye medication, and dry eye has a long way to go in Canada. It's, it's, uh, it's not uh, well diagnosed. It, uh, it, uh, there's certainly a lot of people that are, are suffering from dry eye that are, are not seeking medications. So our job is to increase uh, awareness there. But in the U.S., Zydra does almost $500 million uh, of revenue uh, for Novartis. So this is a, a big product in the U.S. It's advertised on TV in the U.S. Uh, in the Canadian market, the product has... Uh, has not been uh, has not been promoted for over a year, and we expect that the promotion will help drive up revenues uh, for this product. It's uh, we believe, uh, in terms of dry eye, uh, one of the best uh, products on the market. Well, that that leads me to my last question. Everyone wants to know the future, especially with a with a listed company. Um, what uh, what's coming next? What what are sort of your revenue? Uh, expectations and uh, when will we see them uh, hit, hit the balance sheet and be reported well our our current uh, revenue run rate with the with these three new products that we've just acquired is is in the high 40s to low 50 million dollar range so puts us certainly as a, a solid mid-tier canadian player um, for 2023 we haven't provided any guidance but i would expect that that number that our numbers should be higher than that 50 million uh, and if I look at all our products, if everything went very well with, with all of them in terms of reaching their peak potential um, through great execution uh, over the course of the next four to five years, we have products currently which have the potential to drive us to, uh, to revenue a base of well over $200 million. Uh, and that's our existing product portfolio. So again, six products being promoted out of 12. Um, by, a, you know, most of our, our team uh, will have uh, shortly about 80 or 85 commercial team people that's out in the field talking to physicians, talking to pharmacists, talking to, uh, to other healthcare providers. Um, and uh, it's, it's really execution. It's, it's being able to deliver the message. We know the products are effective, uh, especially our enters there, which has great clinical results and great results with, with the first patients that have been on it. Uh, we have over 700 doctors that currently prescribe Enerzair, and our objective is to grow that significantly. So, you know, we're, we're hitting on all our cylinders. Uh, time is, 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 uh, is just, you know, we just have to, it's just a question of time. It's a question of getting out there and, and getting the, the information out to physicians about the benefits of our drugs. Steve, all very exciting. Um, look forward to having you back and giving us an update to, to see all these cylinders hitting. Yeah, so we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we're looking forward to being back and, and giving uh, your audience uh, more information about the progress that we're making. Thank you, Steve. Look forward to it. Great. Thanks, Steve.